Hi guys, it's Brittany and I'm coming to you today to show you how I'm going to refresh a wash and go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time. This is a dry wash and go that is three days old. And to me what a dry wash and go is, is uh, basically taking hair when I'm not in the shower that's never been fully drenched and just applying product to my dry hair. To get a wash and go, I do spray with water in a water bottle in order to get some moisture first. But that's what the result of this the that was, is um this fro here. And I'm going to refresh it. So I want to kind of show you the process of how I would normally get a dry wash and go. But I am going to fully drench my hair because I need to rinse this product out of my hair before I reapply some more. Um, just so I can last be these next three days until I actually wash my hair. So I will be back once I'm done rinsing and I'll show you what products I'm going to be using today. All right, so as you can see, I am removing a towel from my hair. This is my hair fully wet. The t-shirt was on my hair maybe about two minutes. So here I'm going to go ahead and show you what products I'll be using today. I am, of course, going to start with some plain old water in a spray bottle. I will use a leave-in conditioner, which is a Tresemme Botanique line with coconut milk and aloe vera. I'll follow that up with coconut oil. And then lastly, for my styling project, I'm going to use the super wet gel. For my tools, I've got the top of some pantyhose as a ponytail holder and a clip. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm starting by parting my hair off in horizontal rows, and then I'll tie the rest of my hair up and out of the way. And now you'll see me respray my hair just to make sure that it's fully wet. The first step is to apply your conditioner. You want to make sure that you apply it until your hair feels smooth. For my hair, I have low porosity hair towards the roots and high porosity hair towards the ends because of the color. So make sure you use as much conditioner as necessary for your own hair type. So the next step is to add the oil of your choice. I love coconut oil, especially helping with detangling. So whatever oil you prefer, go ahead and use that. And then I, I would finger detangle. The reason I am not using a comb is because this is not my normal wash day and I limit the use of a comb to once a week. All right, so here's the last part in regards to adding product. You want to apply your gel, whatever method works best for you. My best method is by raking and smoothing. I don't necessarily need to shingle. My hair is very coily already. So I just make sure I use the clip to clip the other parts out of the way and apply gel in the smaller section so I can ensure my hair is fully smooth. So you can see that my fingers are acting as a comb and for me that is sufficient to get the definition that I want. If you prefer to use a styling tool such as a Denman brush, go ahead and use it at this point. That way you can make sure that the product is evenly distributed and also you want to make sure your curls are popping. So whatever method works best for you, go ahead and do that, whether it's fingers or tools. Now at this point, all you have to do is repeat the process. You just need to add the gel and smooth and rake it through your hair. So this is what my hair looks like when that first back row is done. And in the next step, you'll see me do the last piece in the front. Yeah, so we finally almost made it to the end. And here you're just gonna see me do the same thing. I'll go ahead and re-wet my hair 
apply conditioner until it's smooth, add coconut oil and detangle, and then in smaller sections, apply the gel. Also, in case you were wondering how long this takes me overall, if I had not been recording, I can generally do this process in about 20 minutes, but because I was recording, it took me a little more than 45 minutes to complete. Yay, we're finished with our hair, so now if you feel the need to, girl, do your victory dance. Then you can go ahead and grab a bobby pin and try to lay them edges down. For me, this does not actually work, but I do it anyways because I like the look of having part of my hair partially pushed back. So this step was important for me because I was leaving the house literally right after I finished recording this video. So blotting your hair with a t-shirt helps to make sure that your hair doesn't look white with the product. And it also assists slightly with the drying time, making it a little bit less. And the last thing you want to do is just make sure you shake your hair to separate your curls. You want to do your best not to touch your hair once you've finished applying the product until it is fully dry. All right, guys, so I, I'm, obviously I'm in my car, but I wanted to show you guys what the hair is looking like right now. Um, just because with the light, it looks a little bit better. And because I'm so close, I think you could see it better. But it's been drying for about four hours. The roots are still completely wet, like completely wet. Um, but let me see if you can get a good look. So the ends are dry, but the roots are, like, as I said, very, very much still wet so i'll try to maybe take some pictures or another video clip later on so you can see what it looks like and definitely show you tomorrow um once i've put it up in a ponytail for the night so stay tuned i want the attraction when i'm in the club i want you to want me because i want your love baby i want the attraction when i'm in the club i want you to want me because i want your love All right, guys, so that is how my wash and go lasted. This is the third day that I've been wearing it. Um, so I did the wash and go on Wednesday, and it wasn't really fully dry until about halfway through the day on, I'm sorry, I did the wash and go on Tuesday, rather, 
it wasn't fully dry till the, the like the middle of the day Wednesday so it's now Friday so I've been wearing this for three days and just kind of showed you what the definition is still holding on to right now normally this would be my wash day but I have to get up really early tomorrow because I'm doing a walk and um, I just want to mess with my hair so I'll wash it tomorrow after the walk anyways so yeah I just want to give you an idea of how I do my washing goes stay tuned for more videos because I'm really excited to kind of continue filming because I really enjoy doing YouTube videos so I hope you guys enjoy watching thank you so much and I'll see you next time bye